to Mechanical Mashup. I'm your host Brody and today we're going to do something so simple that even I can do it. Hey, that's insulting. A project is called a camera obscura. In olden times, people noticed an interesting phenomenon. If a knot in a wooden wall fell out creating a small hole, a faint upside down image of outside was cast on the wall. This is the pinhole effect and was used to create the first cameras. This phenomenon is due to light traveling in straight lines. Light bouncing off one part of the object travels straight through the pinhole and hits the wall. The same happens with all the points until an image is formed. We're going to show you how to do the, the camera obscure the original way, how it was first discovered, and, and how we do it now, which is a little better. For this project, all we need is a couple pieces of blister board, a sharp pencil, some scissors, string, masking tape, and this which we'll talk about later. So a big huge clean wall and of course the window. This thing we need to do is measure our window, how wide it is. Okay. And how tall it is. So we just cut the strings with the scissors to the length. So we're going to lay out two pieces of blister board overlapping each other. So it's the width of the string. So then you take the two pieces of blister board, take them together. Depending on the size of your window, you may have to do this twice. Well, once you've done your two pieces, put them together so, so they're as long as your uh, long string. Then you have to tape it. So then you have to flip it over and tape it on the joints on the other side. So if we put the hole, the hole in the middle, we're probably going to be blocked by this. So put your hole a bit down from that. We're going to measure down, just roughly past the halfway point here. Uh, and at the very end of the string, we're going to put an itsy bitsy tiny uh, hole. Push up with your fingers on the other side. <laughs> right there. Ah. Holy cow. Wow. Maybe you need to sharpen pencils on this. The Bristol water wasn't as opaque as we thought, so we will have to do some fixes. Instead of covering with more Bristol wood, uh, we thought it would be a good idea to make a cool collage. Uh, so the pictures weren't enough, uh, so, we, so, uh, so we went out and got four pieces of black Bristol board and now we're going to tape them uh, to the back of the pieces of white Bristol board that we had originally. So, so the next step, you have to tape your Bristol board up against your window here. Alright, there's a small hole, but it doesn't let in a lot of light, so, so it's very, very faint. Uh, but we're going to try it um, the new way with the lens. We can increase the amount of light coming through the hole by increasing its size or aperture. The problem is that the light spreads through the hole, making the image blurry. 
The only way to maintain sharpness while increasing aperture is to use a lens to focus the light back to a point. The larger the lens, the more light it lets through. This is why telescopes use huge lenses and mirrors to see faint stars and galaxies. The distance that the light focuses back to a point for a given lens is called its focal point. However, in optometry, when you get a lens, you order it by its diopter, which is 1 over the focal length. Brody's room is 3.3 meters from the window to the wall. So the ideal diopter would be 0.299. Since these lenses are only made in quarter diopter steps, we rounded it to 0.25. When asking, you need to say plus 0.25 or 0.25 converging. So we went to an optometrist uh, uh, and we told them what we were doing. Uh, and they were nice enough to give us this lens for free to try out. Hopefully it let, lets in a lot more light, uh, but still stays focused. So the lens that we use was a 0.25 diopter. So we have a, a wing that, fit, that the lens fits in, very nice and snug. So we made a mounting piece, and and now we're just taping the lens uh, and the and the you know home for for the lens onto the mounting piece, and then you just gotta put some pieces of tape around it just to make sure no unwanted light gets through it. So now we just need to tape a a lens uh, and its case. Uh, up to the um, Bristol board uh, uh, and uh, make sure you um, make sure the um, the uh, lens is uh, straight with the uh, horn your Bristol board too Full color and everything. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. You can even see clouds. Oh, he cow. Oh, Um, we tried it with the lens, and oh my gosh, it was so cool. There was color and everything. Uh, half of it was even on the roof of the room. So, it was a cool experience. And way cheaper than using a phone in space. It was, and this project was so simple that anyone could do it. Oh my gosh. If you look really closely at the umbrella, you can see the flowers. They look like uh, circles with many humps on them, but they still look like flowers. I like the way the branches are swaying around. What? I like the branches blowing around. Yeah. I can't wait for a bird to fly across. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, um, um, uh, uh, a male blue jay flying across. Nice. Sometimes. Brody's getting tired. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. Breathe, Brody, breathe.